Hey guys, so today's video is going to be kind of sad. I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about Leela Alcorn and I feel like I, I want to talk about this because it's important and I've heard a lot of different opinions on it. People are actually very upset about it in ways that you wouldn't expect. You would expect people to feel sad about a teen committing suicide, but a lot of them are just leaving really nasty, hateful comments and I'm going to talk about that later. Um, but if you haven't already heard of the story, I'll leave all relevant links in the description below. But she was a teen, transgender, male to female, and she jumped in front of a passing semi-trailer on an interstate. And this was obviously something that she planned to do because she had scheduled a post to appear on social media somewhere, I'm not sure exactly where, um, pretty much, you know, giving her last statement. It's her suicide note. And in it, she says a lot of things that... It was really hard for me to read this. I actually read it with a friend over Skype and we were both tearing up because it's just really, I mean, it's really sad for lack of a better word and I mean I, I can read part of it but I mean again like I said link it in the description below but just to give you guys an idea of what it's about um, she starts off by saying if you're reading this it means that I've committed suicide and obviously failed to delete this from my queue please don't be sad it's for the better the life I would have lived isn't worth living in because I'm transgender that statement right there really got to me. The life I would have lived isn't worth living in because I'm transgender. What is wrong with our world and society that people feel like that is enough to make their life not worth living? I mean, that the fact that they have to be around people that are so unaccepting of them is just... It's so depressing. And I, I'm sorry, I feel bad for anyone who feels that way, whether it be because you're gay or you're transgender or you're an atheist or you're different from someone in any capacity. People just have this need to hate people that are different and it pushes people to do things like commit suicide, especially if you're young. Um, and it's coming from people who you look up to and respect and love, like family, like your parents. She says, when I was 14, I learned what transgender meant and cried of happiness. After 10 years of confusion, I finally understood who I was. I immediately told my mom, and she reacted extremely negatively, telling me that it was a phase, that I would never truly be a girl, and that God doesn't make mistakes, so that I'm wrong. <sighs> a lot of people have been talking about how these parents were religious, and how it's religion's fault that this happened. Now, I'm not going to argue with the fact that religion is horrible, that religion influences people to do things that they would not do without that religion telling them that it was the moral or superior choice to be making. But at the same time, I feel like people are hardwired to be hateful. Like I said before, people just are assholes sometimes, people who, who just happen to be different than you, whether it be, you know, I'm, whether people are racist or people are sexist, or people do things like this. I feel like it's, you know, you're different, so therefore I hate you. And a lot of times religion can be the motivating factor behind that, but I also think it's important to remember that people just suck sometimes, and people are hateful assholes. And I think that's important to remember because we can't just point the finger at religion because obviously there are a lot of religious people who wouldn't be this extreme, but it is partially at fault here. If you are reading this, parents, please do not tell your kids. Even if you are a Christian or against transgender people, don't ever say that to someone, especially your kid. That won't do anything but make them hate themselves, and that's exactly what it did to me. My mom started taking me to a therapist, but would only take me to Christian therapists, who were all very biased, so I never actually got the therapy I needed to cure me of my depression. I only got more Christians telling me that I was selfish and wrong, and that I should look to God for help. Oh, this is abuse. This is definitely abuse. A lot of people now are calling for the parents to be prosecuted, and I think they absolutely should. If you smack your kid, if you're violent towards your kid, if you physically abuse your kid, it's not okay, but mental abuse is fine. That's a bunch of bullshit. I mean, taking... and these therapists, too, the fact that things like this even exist, the fact that places like Kidnapped for Christ exist, or, you know, Jesus Camp, or these places where these kids have to go and be brainwashed into telling them that there's something wrong with them for being who they are. If you don't worship my version of God, then you're going to hell and you're going to burn for all of eternity. There's something very 
wrong with this, and the fact that society seems to be okay with allowing this kind of psychological abuse is beyond fucked up in my opinion, and obviously needs to change. I formed a sort of fuck you attitude towards my parents and came out as gay at school, thinking that maybe if I eased into coming out as trans it would be less of a shock. Although the reaction from my friends was positive, my parents were pissed. They felt like I was attacking their image, because that's what they were more concerned about, obviously, their image than this poor girl's mind, and that I was an embarrassment to them. They wanted me to be their perfect little straight Christian boy, and that's obviously not what I wanted. So they took me out of public school, they took away my laptop and my phone, they forbid me from getting on any kind of social media, completely isolating me from my friends. This is probably the part of my life when I was the most depressed, and I'm surprised I didn't kill myself. I was completely alone for five months. No friends, no support, no love. Just my parents' disappointment and the cruelty of loneliness. So not only did these parents make this girl feel like there was something wrong with her, they took her to therapists that also were religious so they confirmed that there was something wrong with her that she needed to change. And probably the only outlet that she could go to to feel like she was a decent person, that she was okay the way she was, was taken from her. She couldn't have those friends to rely on. She couldn't have social media to go on YouTube and look up videos of people being like, hey, there's nothing wrong with you. You should love yourself the way that you are. Motivating happy thoughts. She had no access to these things in the times when she probably most needed it. She said she was thinking of suicide back then and she's surprised she got through it. And I feel like if she had access to things that uplifted her and gave her more confidence and reinforced the fact that she is perfectly normal the way that she is, Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe she would have had enough confidence via those things to be able to still be here today, but obviously her parents valued their image more than her life, and whether or not they agree with that, that's exactly what they were doing. I'm never going to be happy with the way I look or sound. I'm never going to have enough friends to satisfy me. I'm never going to have enough love to satisfy me. I'm never going to find a man who loves me. I'm never going to be happy. Either I live the rest of my life as a lonely man who wishes he were a woman, or I live my life as a lonelier woman who hates herself. There's no winning. There's no way out. I've had enough already. I don't need my life to get any worse. People say it gets better, but that isn't true in my case. It gets worse. Each day I get worse. She was obviously not in an environment that fostered any kind of mental growth or feeling like she's okay. She was in one that just made her feel worse every single day, which pushed her to this point. The only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. If they're treated like humans, with valid feelings and human rights. Gender needs to be taught about in schools, earlier the better. My death needs to mean something. My death needs to be counted in the number of transgender people who commit suicide this year. I want someone to look at this number and say, that's fucked up, and fix it. Fix society, please. Goodbye, Leela. So... <sighs> In reading this, it's very hard to ignore something that says, my death needs to mean something. I want someone to look at this number and fix it. Fix society, please. That's part of the reason why I'm making this video, because I feel like it's not talked about enough, and we need more people, you know, sharing these articles and, and sharing this video and just writing a thing on Facebook about how, hey, if you're one of those assholes who don't support transgender rights or LGBT rights in general, or, you know, if you have any kind of discrimination against anybody because they're different than you, hey, that's fucked up, by the way. I feel like we need more people saying that. As redundant as it may sound, it's important because there are so many people out there who just still don't get it. And those of us who do, I think sometimes find it kind of hard to believe that those people still exist. But they do everywhere. I see them all the time. I see them in comments. In the comments on this, there are people saying, how dare she post this suicide note? Because look at what she's doing. She's getting all this attention poor her, and the poor parents who were probably sad and only wanted to save her from the eternal torment and fires of hell, they only wanted to save her from hell, now they have to deal with this additional embarrassment and they'll never be able to stop being reminded of her death, and of course they didn't use the right pronoun. Are you kidding me? There are people out there sympathizing with the parents, and you know what? If anybody is even slightly tempted to sympathize with the parents, let me read you something really quick. Her mother posted on Facebook after she died, My sweet 16-year-old son, Joshua, went home to heaven this morning. He was out for an early morning walk and was hit by a truck. Thank you for the messages and kindness and concern you have sent our way. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. The post has since been taken down. So many things wrong with this. First of all, they refer to Leela as 
a boy, son, Joshua, even in death, they can't respect her last wishes. And they lie. They say, oh, she went out for an early morning walk and was hit. Oops, accidents happen, right? Sucks for us. Feel sorry for us. Bullshit. It was suicide. You knew it was suicide, and you lied to cover up the shit you had done to make her life so terrible to get to that point. How dare you try to act like there's no responsibility there for you because let me tell you what, there's a lot and you should be prosecuted. This story is so sad because I see this beautiful girl and she's gone now because stupid beliefs by stupid people who are unaccepting and hateful and bigoted and don't deserve to be here. They don't. And it's sad that they're not gone instead of her. I see this person who has been so emotionally crushed her entire life that she thought suicide was the only way out. And one thing about this story that scares me is that I don't want other people in this situation to feel like that's the right way to handle it. As much as I understand that she was in a bad place and felt like there was no other answer, there was. Suicide is not ever the answer, okay? And I'm scared that people are gonna see this and think, well, I'm in the same situation, she killed herself, look at all of you know the people who are supporting her now. Maybe whenever I die, I'll have people giving me support and love, something that I never got during my life. And they feel like that's the way that they can finally be accepted. And that is so not true, because society is changing a lot. I see a lot of changing attitudes, especially with the younger generation. People aren't as bigoted as they used to be, and it's because of things like this, because of YouTube, because of people that I see posting on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and all these different social media sites with outrage. Obviously, I feel like most people are not okay with this kind of thing. Most people are completely disgusted and really saddened by this story. And if you're one of those people and you're not sure what to do, please remember that you are not alone, number one. And number two, there are so many people out there who support you and, and don't think that there's anything wrong with you and can identify with you. You're definitely not alone and you're definitely not really a part of a society anymore that condemns such things. And the people who do are the ones that are being condemned now. They're the freaks. They're the weirdos. And they're the ones who need to get their ass kicked. And they will. And I hope these parents have something bad happen to them, you know, beyond the grief that I'm sure that they are experiencing to some degree. Because it's just so wrong and I feel like an example needs to be set that this isn't okay. That you cannot mentally abuse your children like this anymore. Anyways, this is a super heated topic and I would love to hear your guys' opinion in the comment section below. If you've gone through things that are similar to this, tell me your story. If you have advice for people who are going through things like this, tell me your story. Or if you just have an opinion in general on the topic, let me know what you think in the comment section below because like I said, the more people talking about it, the better. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. All of my social media links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.